plant and Essie plus Sprinkles the bear. <laughs> Welcome to Minnie's fashion show. Let's check out Minnie Mouse. <gasps> Look at that beautiful outfit. Minnie has the most beautiful pink skirt, beautiful pink shirt, white shoes, and light pink bow. And she also has some extra accessories. An outerwear shirt, a purse, two shoes, sunglasses, another pink shirt, darker bow, and a candy. Hmm, you know what? I, I need to clean up all this clothes, but I would sure like a few more outfits. You want to go check my closet and see what we can do? Let's go! Wow, Minnie Mouse, I love it. You have lots of shoes, a travel bag, a robe, some gear to go on vacation, some athletic wear. Look! Here, Minnie Mouse can be just casual. Then we've got the gardening Minnie Mouse. And over here, Minnie Mouse can go on vacation to Paris or to the beach. In Minnie's closet, we have so much easy fashion. So let's go check it out. We can dress her in so many different ways and go on some fun trips. What do you think of this outfit? Okay, Minnie Mouse, hop inside of your magic closet. Let's see what we can change your outfit to. That will determine where we're going next. Okay, let's pull out our wand, the Minnie Mouse wand. Magic, 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 go. Whoa, it worked. Looks like, mm, looks like Minnie Mouse is in her shopping outfit. Check that out. Wow! Transformation to a purse, a really pretty metallic skirt, pink shirt, and white ruffled shoes. It looks like Minnie Mouse bought some pink luggage, yellow shoes, a cute summer dress, and a hat. Let's see if we can use our magic to get this outfit on Minnie so she's ready to go on vacation. Come on, Miss Minnie, inside your magic closet. Let's close up our door. Place her right in the middle. And Minnie Mouse, let's go on vacation. <gasps> Whoa, Minnie, she's got her bag ready and she's got her outfit she's going to wear on the airplane. Here is a fun fact about traveling that you should try and remember and tell your parents. A continent is one of Earth's seven main divisions of land. Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and Australia. You can visit seven continents, but Antarctica is a little bit cold. I don't think I ever want to go there unless I want to see penguins. Antarctica is the only continent with no permanent human habitation. Do you know what that means? People don't live in Antarctica. It's too cold. What do you think? It is so cute. Her cute little tote bag and an outfit. Hmm, where do you think she's going? Maybe France to Paris? Maybe to the beach in the sun? Where should Minnie Mouse go? You want her to go to the beach? Okay, well, then she needs to change her outfit again. So Minnie Mouse, let's go back in the magic machine. Now, we have to get you ready for the beach. Closing her up. Hey, Minnie, check it out. 
Once again, her outfit has changed. This time she's got her flip flops on. She's got her flower dress, sunglasses to protect her eyes from the sun, a cute summer bow, and of course a camera. Should we take some cute pictures of Miss Minnie? Minnie Mouse, say cheese. She's also got this cute little floaty. We can put it on her arm so that she can go in the water and just relax. Well, now that I'm at the beach, well, not really. It's just my magic closet. Did you know that sand comes from broken down minerals and rocks? They used to be big, and then over time, they erode. Sand comes in lots of different colors. The longest beach in the world is in Brazil. The first beaches were formed 3.3 billion years ago. Do you remember anything I told you about a beach? Well, if you do, you should let your parents know what you know about the beach. Well, now that we used Minnie's magic closet to go to the beach, let's go and figure out what we can do at the garden. Straighten Minnie out, of course. And here we go. Wow! Yes! Now we have Minnie Mouse in her garden outfit. She has a sun hat to protect her face from the sun. A sundress, and it has clouds, a little bag, and of course her gardening shoes. I love to garden, but did you know? To help plants grow, we usually need light, water, air, nutrients, and the correct temperature. How do plants drink? They drink from their roots that are under the ground. Bugs or microorganisms are important to make your garden grow. My favorite thing is worms. Did you know that Nat has a worm compost bin in her basement? That's right. Worms help decompose, break down your food, and leaves to make better dirt, to make even better soil. Bees, which Nat also has in her backyard, Nat is a beekeeper, help pollinate your plants so that they can grow even healthier. My favorite plants are peas. I love to eat fresh peas from my garden. Okay, Ms. Minnie Mouse, let's hop back into our clothes transformation machine one last time. What are we gonna make this time? Magic, magic, Minnie Machine! Minnie Mouse is ready for bed. I guess that's our last transformation. I had so much fun going on vacation with you all. What did we learn? Well, we learned that Beaches are made out of minerals and rocks. There are seven continents on our planet Earth. And to have a healthy garden, there are lots of different factors, like your microorganisms, bugs and worms and bees, air, water, dirt, and temperature. Thanks for learning with me today. I am going to take a good nap.